Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. So nice to see so many of you here. Hi Mum. Hi Rain. Hi Robin. Hi Pam. Hi Lizzie. Hi everyone. Sorry if I missed you. I'm Monia Gates, I'm the artist behind Colour My Dreams and today we will be colouring skin. I've decided to give her a warm skin colour because she's going to be in a sunset. So it's warmer colours on the tone and then a shadow area on the face. Iselina, she is on the Patreon, so it, um, she's available under Colouring Pages on Patreon or she's on my Etsy shop for the people that's not a patron. But you um, you are, so you, will, you do have access to the page. Hi Sonia. Hi Katerina, welcome. Hi Mari. Yes, the one on the screen now is on Patreon, is Selena. She's the turtle, um, uh, turtle guardian page. Okay, so because I've decided to give her a warm skin tone, I'm going to start with my green alien face again. Hi Janine. Hi EMS Coloring Creations, welcome. So, my first color is Chartreuse, PC989. So, the reason why I'm doing the green undertone is when you want to give somebody a warmer skin tone or a glow, I'm adding the green at the bottom because that will make the colors glow more or give the person a healthy glow to the skin. Because um, if you look at skin tones, so in this instance for the warmer skin tone, Hello Anita, welcome. But if this, in sh uh, if the person's skin is got uh, is more in shadow areas, you will not use the green. You will move more towards the bluer tones. So I want her to have that tanned olive glow to the skin. So that's why we go with uh, we opt for the for the chartreuse or the greener tones as an underlayer. Next is lime peel.
Um, I've stopped just before the edge of the um, shadow because I'm going to cover the shadow section with blues to subdue it as an underlayer. So you're basically quickly going to color the whole face in greens and blues. I'm maneuver, maneuver. Welcome. So here we are stopped. I'm darkening just this section that we covered with the shitries. The mouth corner. Hello Nana, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Yes, Lime Peel, it's PC1005. Hi Sherry. Next I'm going to use Caribbean Sea. PC Hello Michelle, welcome. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just doing all the shadow areas in the blue because we want it toned down. So in this corner here, I'm going to do a blue reflection that the water, the light is shining through the water and you have reflective color onto the skin. So the next color I'm going to use is light aqua. Next is light green, PC920. So 
So this corner that we've done the light aqua, where it's going to be the lightest, I'm just lightening this corner. Now to do your highlights, I'm going to use eggshell PC 140. Oh, thank you so much, Nana. So I've highlight my highlights here is where the sun will catch. Remember if this is my reflective light and then the hair cast a shadow onto the face, but then it will form a shape because this is lying flat, but there's more hair here. Because it's shining onto the water, your brightest is in front of her face. The sun is sh shining and casting a very, very bright, like a mirror. You know when, when the sun catches water and it fo almost forms like a mirror and it will cast it onto her face. And then the water color will reflect back onto the skin. So now we can we can cover the face with all the other colors. Now we can have some fun.
So my first color that I'm going to use is Nectar BC1092. I'm using circular motion with a medium to light pressure. <laughs> yes, Nana, <laughs> half the set. Well, you've got all the colors, we might as well use them. Now by applying one color, do you see where everywhere where you've added your underlying colors, how it's playing with one color? I've only put the nectar over all the colors on the under painting. Not underpainting my under layer of pencil. And you can see how the green make it looks bright like she's in sunlight. Next is Burnt Ochre PC943. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Now this I apply only to the shadow areas as we build up the layers.
Now you can see the difference in the color. It's still, it's one pencil over nectar, but on that side, it subdued the shadow and here it's a shadow in the light. So it gives it a warmer tone. So before we carry on with the skin, I first want to do an eye because my hand's moving across the page. So I'm just scared I'm going to lose the whole image there. So first is Henna PC1031. So I'm going in the corner of the eye, then I'm using nectar. Let's see if I can just zoom in a bit. Bring you a little bit closer. Okay, so the nectar is just in the corner of the eye. And on the little outside section. Then I'm going to use French grey. So the French grey, because the lid is casting a shadow onto the eye. So you need to just add a shadow area just below on the white section. Go over your nectar that you've added and on the other side. So the shadow um, below the lid, be the reason why we add it is because the lid is casting a shadow. It will make the eye look that it's inside the socket. If you don't put your shadow there, it might look that your eye is not inside of the socket. Yes, it was 
70% French grey, 1074. So the next colour I'm using is Espresso, PC1099. So now I'm right here at the top, sure. I'm just drawing two little lines around the eye. Next is Indigo PC901. Right at the top, I'm adding the Indigo. Next is Jade Green, PC1021, and I'm filling the bottom of the eye. Next is Artichoke, PC1098, and just on my right hand side, giving it a little bit of a greenish tinge. Next is black, the black is for the iris, and I'm making a half moon on the eye. And then two white dots. Let me just sharpen it a bit. Okay, so now I'm moving over to the white section of this eye. Next is Sandbar Brown, PC1094. Hi Dorothy, welcome. Next is Pile Sage, PC1089. And Lighten it. Next is French grey again, uh, seventy per cent PC one zero seven four. So the next colour 
I'm going to add a round the eye is henna. So the pinks is mostly around the eyes if you look at faces. So I'm going to keep it around the eye. So around the lid and just below the eye I'm adding henna. Henna is 1031. And the nose, the pinks, and around the lips. So you've got your pink section mostly here. So I'm adding the henna to the shadow areas. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm sure that somebody else is thinking of exactly the same question, but don't, is too scared or too embarrassed to ask. So it's good to ask questions. Next color is pink PC929. Hello Rai, welcome. Yes, we missed you. Now basically I'm just shading in the henna into the lighter areas.
Next color is light amber, PC941. H. Wilson, it was just before this one, every Wednesday, exactly at the same time. It happened two hours before this stream starts. Every week, there's a patron stream. And it's also live, like this one. Oh, thank you, Selena. You're welcome, Mitch Wilson. And Nick, next week the patrons will be doing glass. So I'm darkening some of the shadows in certain spots. Next, I'm going to use Black Raspberry, PC1095. Now, I'm really darkening the shadows. Katerina, I'll send it to you in a, um, in a, a leave a comment below this uh, video and then I can send it to you there. Can you hear me okay, Angie? Because the link is in the description. If the link doesn't work, because sometimes they don't, then you can just copy, um, copy it and then uh, you can uh, 
just paste it and it will pick it up. Of Katerina, it's in this video's description or in any of my previous video's descriptions. And if you open the page, it's uh, my home or my channel. There's a little icon on your right hand side that says patron. If you click on it, it takes you straight there as well. It is Color My Dream by Monia. Pa patron www.patron.com forward slash Color My Dream by Monia. Let me just check. I might just be lying to you. Yes, it's www.patreon.com forward slash capital C color but C O L O R M I D R E A M S capital M O N J A. Angie, the difference is the patron streams is not open for the public. It's only patrons that can see it. And the public streams is anybody can see and come to the streams. Next is Burnt Ochre, PC943. And in the patron streams, it's an uh, in-depth tutorial of different subject matters. Yes, and you get more coloring pages and more tutorials. And you also get an in-depth study of whatever the theme is. For Say, for example, water droplets, then I go completely in-depth into it and give you practice pages, which are separate from coloring pages that you can apply the tutorial to.
so you can practice it and then I also give you advice on how to apply it to different coloring pages not necessarily mine Yes, there's gold tutorials, jewel tutorials, water droplets, rust, for example, water reflections. So it's all different things and themes. Just to name a few, there's quite a bit on there and it, you, you've got access to all of them. Next is Mineral Orange, BC1033. Oh, awesome, Angie. I'm glad you started one. That's lovely. I'm glad you like it. Next, Nectar again, PC1092. You have access to the patron once through patron um, platform. It will open in YouTube, but it's not like um, the previous public streams that you can access it on a list on just the YouTube channel. You just click on the image and then it opens in YouTube.
It's good to ask these questions because now you know. Hi Loretta, welcome. What do you mean by private live streams, Angie? The patron ones is just for for patrons. Do you mean one on one? This is my Sandbar Brown PC1094. Yes, I've got private live streams that's for patrons only. If you click on the patron links, that's only the patrons can see it. The public can't see it. So that is private. I do them once a week before this public stream. It's the patron stream. Uh, next is Caribbean Sea again, double one zero three. What you can do, Angie, is once you get the link on Patreon, then click on the image, then set a reminder, and then you will get an email notification. And it counts down in your time zone. So you can also just set a reminder for yourself and it's each and every week it's exactly the same time. The time don't vary unless something drastic is happening like load shedding or something like that here in South Africa. If I don't have power then I might change the times but I try and keep the times the same.
Uh, don't look at the face whether it's blurry because it's still just very light layers. If you look at my hand, is it still blurry? Yeah, see, we're still doing light layers. I haven't done any details, so it might look blurry to you at the moment. Hi, Lulu. Welcome. Uh, next color is Salmon Pink, PC1001. We're slowly building up the layers. It will get more into focus just now. <laughs> We're pulling her out of the paper. Next color is Burnt Ochre, PC 943. Thank you, Lulu. Oh, thank you, Janine. Janine.
Next is bronze, PC1028. Thank you, Angie. Next is Terracotta, PC944. And I'm warming it up around the eyes, but keeping to the redder tones. Thank you, Selina. Next is Pumpkin Orange, PC1032. Thank you, Lulu. Now we're bringing in some warmth before we turn it down again because we don't want to lose the warmth because of the environment that she's in. And remember we said we're giving her a warm skin tone to go with the sunset. Next is Black Raspberry again, PC1095. And I'm darkening some of the shadows. And darkening the eye a little before we go into details. So we're still just playing around with the layering on the skin. So I'm enhancing some of the shadows with the black raspberry again. And again, we're playing with complementary tones. So I'm using black raspberry in the shadow areas. And that is complementary to all the yellow tones in the skin. So we're playing off with the complementary colors.
Yes, lots of pencils and lots of patience. Loretta, it is grainy at the moment, but it will still smooth out. So the image itself is grainy at the moment. I think let's do something different this week. Instead of guessing how many pencils I'm using, let's guess what is the color What is the color that I don't often use so much that I'm using tonight? See, if you look at my hand, the skin is grainy at the moment because we are still layering. So the image is grainy at the moment. Next color is Blue Violet Lake, PC1079. As we're layering, it will smooth out. Yes, you're quite right, Sherry. The tooth of the paper is being filled and the more layers you add, the more it will become smooth and uh, smoother and smoother. This is one thing about waxy pencils, but I do love it once it smooths out. So don't worry too much about it. The image do do that. Bye, Michelle. Uh, next is chocolate, PC1082.
Next is the Nectar again, PC1092. Yes, Angie, I started it today. I can see certain areas is starting to smooth out now. And that's the best part. As soon as it's smooth, you can twig colors. Yes, Angie, this is similar to the um, Great Town Strathmore. That is my favorite paper, the Strathmore, but we can't get it in South Africa at the moment. So I had to settle for um, my second choice is this. Next is the Espresso again. PC1099. Next is pink, PC929, we're just reworking the pinks a bit. Then Nectar, PC1092. So it's a warmer pink. Then Peach, PC939.
then burnt ochre PC943 Next is Chestnut PC1081. Thank you for being here, um, Pamela. Hope to see you a little later. Next is Light Amber again, PC941.
Okay, so I'm putting color under the eyebrow because if you draw little lines, you want skin to be shining through. So I'm also going to start building up the eyebrow area. So that we can add the eyebrows in a little later. And not white paper. Because white paper will shine through if you don't put any skin tone underneath. Next is a uh, blush pink, PC928. Next is Golden Rod, PC1034. Next is Beige Sienna, PC1080. So now I'm smoothing it. Oh, I'm adding another layer so that it can smooth out faster so that we can actually start adding different colors so that um, we can get the color tones of the sunset on the face going. Thank you, Angie, for being here. So glad you joined us. Bye-bye, and I'll see you next week.
He is Dorothy. There is an alien underneath. A rainbow of greens and blues is underneath here. You know the story. My rainbow faces. I'm using medium pressure at the moment. Okay, next is henna again. Now we're going to just start adding our colors. Henna 1031. I'm still with the henna. So have all of you been colouring mermaids this month for mermaid? Oh no, Janine, that's not good. Now 
Next is Page PC nine nine seven. Oh yes, Sonia, I saw that. No, yours look amazing. Thank you, Katerina. Next is the black raspberry again. PC one zero nine five. No, Sonia, I'm sure that it, you will be fine. You can do this one. But first finish your mermaid. I, I really would like to see it finished. Next is Periwinkle, PC1025. Now we're just getting some blue and purpley tones here in the shadow. And the reason why we use that is because we've got all our yellow and orangey tones in the highlights of the face. So to complement it, we want to do blues and purples in our shadow areas. Next is Next is seventy per cent French grey PC one zero nine four.
and I use greys in my shadow areas to subdue some of the colours. By Isolina Next is Mineral Orange, PC1033. Yes, it's Mineral Orange, PC1033. Next is Hena again, PC1031. Good morning, Robin. Welcome.
Next is the Nectar again, PC1092. Next is Pumpkin Orange, PC1032. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thank you, Pam. Next is chocolate, PC1082. We rework some of the brown, brown tones. Let's first do a brow. Just want to sharpen my dark brown. Before we carry on, this is dark brown, PC nine four six. Add a little bit of black. Mom, I don't know the number anymore. Mine's too short. And I'm just turning the patch because I want to just draw the line here on the eye.
can you just help us with a number? Nine three five black. And now we can carry on with the skin. Next is Raspberry PC one zero three zero. No, not yet. I haven't. Oh, Sherry, I don't normally count them. But I will sit and add and add and add till I'm happy. So it could be a lot. <laughs> but next time I'll definitely um, count them and see how many layers. So, uh, did ev everybody guess what is the pencil that I don't use that much? Or not as often as the others? Next is Black Raspberry, PC1095.
then burnt ochre, PC943. The one I don't really use that or that often or I haven't for a while because I normally use most of the colours in the box but I haven't used it for quite some time but I'm using it tonight is Process Red PC994 Next is dark brown, PC946. So now we're adding all the brown t tones to the skin so that we can get a dr dramatic light. Nana, the answer was Process Red, PC994. I haven't used it for a while. Next is Mineral Orange, PC1033. <laughs> yes, I think most of people wouldn't have guessed that one, Nana. Yes, I used to use uh, that colour quite often, but oh, for some reason, not lately. Uh, next is Chestnut, PC1081. Have any of you seen that some of the pencils uh, of Prisma has cracks in them? Because I've got three sets and uh, that's the only pencils that I use. But it's the first time that I've actually received a set from Amazon. And uh, some of my pencils, I've got three pencils that actually has a crack in them. Next is Light Aqua PC992. Next is light green, PC920. Next is 
Next is Great Lavender, BC1026. Oh no, Renee, that's terrible. That's really bad. Uh, next is Process Red, PC994. Next is Raspberry, PC1030. Next is sepia, PC948. Well, I guess this is it for tonight. We will have to continue to do part two and then finish the face next week. And then carry on a little bit onto the hair. Hello, baby boss. Welcome. Here we go. She will have blonde. Yes, Loretta, I would suggest that you have, you must check. Mine had a couple of them that's not so nice uh, it's two or three that's completely broken but this is it for tonight this is part one i will be doing the rest of the skin next week i hope to see all of all of you there here or there um next week we'll finish the face and move on to the hair Oh, thank you, Loretta. Thank you, each and every one that came out tonight. Thank you, Mom, for being my mod. I really appreciate it. Next week, we will, will be doing part two of the face. And um, we'll finish it. Then we'll just move on to the hair part. And patrons, we will be doing glass 
and remember to drop suggestions onto the wall on Facebook or on the Patreon page if you want any suggestions. Thank you everyone. Bye bye and stay safe.